What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over the Big Chad Guys Plus Minecraft Mod Pack. If you're a fan of mods, you know there are a ton of options, but with Big Chad Guys Plus, this is a pack full of some of the best. This gives players all kinds of unique features, including items from Minecraft Dungeons, Story Mode, a wide variety of biomes, and lots more. But before we learn more about it, let's go over the install. Before playing, you're going to need to install CurseForge to support the mod pack. You can head to CurseForge and click the download button for your operating system, and then save and open this file to start the installation process. After this, start the launcher and press Browse Mod Packs from the menu, and then you can type Big Chad Guys Plus in the search field and click install. Now for the server install, we do recommend using a new profile or resetting the server files before you choose this game version to help prevent any problems. Once that's done, head to your panel and scroll down to the game file area, and then you can click on the currently selected option to reveal a drop-down menu. Here you can type Big Chad Guys Plus, click it, and then choose to change the version and create a new world, and then finally make sure to restart the server in the final prompt. Wait for this to finish installing, and then you can join with your installed mod pack through CurseForge. This mod pack is going to give you a ton of new biomes, mobs, and items nearby. You'll also receive two starter books, Paladin's Furniture and Runic Grimoire, which provide useful information about some aspects of the pack. Due to the overwhelming amount of new items, abilities, structures, and other aspects, we're just going to start going over some of the best ones today. One of the first steps towards kickstarting your new adventure is choosing your Pokemon, which you can do by pressing X on your keyboard after you join the world. You can select from a wide range of them to use against other creatures, or you can just have a friendly companion during your journey. These features come from Cobblemon, so you can always get more Pokemon by battling, and there's also things like Pokeballs and Apricorn items for crafting. Other features from this particular mod include a healing and a storage system. If you lost a few battles with your Pokemon, then you can heal them so that they can fight some more. Otherwise, you can store all of the ones you've obtained and switch them out depending on which kinds you want. That being said, there's still plenty more to love if you aren't really interested in Pokemon. While you explore this amazing new world, there's going to be countless new animals and monsters to encounter, with some of them being exclusive to certain biomes. Take a tour around the world to find some of the new mobs, including the new ones that come out at night, but don't forget about the originals who will still be lurking around. As for all of the biomes in this mod pack, it's generated by Terralith and Oh The Biomes You'll Go. You can come across biomes full of mountains, flowers, oceans, forests, and more all around the map, and it's going to be hard to pick a spot to settle down since there are so many great options. Of course, other than biomes, you're also going to get some brand new structures. These include custom towers, underground campsites, and many more. Some of them will just be improved default buildings, such as a pillager outpost, but a vast majority will be new and custom structures right from the pack. You'll also get better villages with new buildings and villagers. Instead of a normal water well, there's a waystone for players to use. Besides this, there's plenty of loot to discover in almost every building, and you can sometimes find unique crops too. Other structures include dungeons, which can be found underground or on the surface. For example, one of these is a large mushroom tower full of monsters and chests. You'll want to avoid these areas early on since you need to gather strong weapons and armor to win the battles, but after that, you can try your luck to overcome the dungeon's challenges to take your winnings. As you do look through the chests, barrels, and other storage containers, you're going to find some unique items and materials. These include tools, weapons, armor, bows, and collectibles that provide abilities. A few notable weapons are the soul fists, firebrands, and frost scythes that come from Minecraft dungeons. And instead of weapons or armor, you can craft and discover brand new building materials. There's even some that allow you to make machines, which stems from the create mod. When you're fighting enemies, you'll notice the combat system is different from vanilla Minecraft. The special animations played after swinging your sword depends on the type of weapon used for it. It's not only animations and style that are different though, since there's a lot of other features too. This brings us to the skills menu, which you can get to by pressing K on your keyboard while in-game. Players are given lots of options to improve, such as their health, strength, defense, and other aspects. 
If you're wanting to level up your character, then you'll need to collect experience points from killing monsters, mining ores, or smelting items. And finally, if you're needing extra materials for items, traveling to the nether is a wonderful way to accomplish this goal. Instead of a darkened red theme, there's going to be tons of areas and structures to enjoy. Besides this, rare loot is found in this dimension that might help you advance more quickly than normal. This same concept is also going to apply to the end dimension. You can expect to see enormous mushroom-like trees with unique blocks all around. The end has plenty of vegetation and wildlife to explore, giving players more opportunities to keep the game going. Now, before we jump into the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. If you're unable to join the server, of course, make sure the game is being launched through CurseForge and that you're using the latest version of the pack to match the server. If you aren't able to load the pack at all, it might be a memory issue, so you can try increasing that to see if it helps. If you notice that your server is lagging, we do suggest 6 to 8 gigabytes of RAM for this pack so that everything runs smoothly, especially if you plan to have a group of friends online all at once. Alternatively, you can see about optimizing the server, for example, limiting the amount of entities in game or tweaking global settings to help reduce the lag. This mod pack is really just a great way to get a ton of the best mods all in one place and all in one world. There are so many new things that come out of this pack, you'll never run out of things to do. So jump in and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.